What's going on everybody? Product Probes, Christian back at you. Got a neat one today from Tac Force. This is the TF835SH Sheriff Knife. Give you guys a quick little close up real quick. Pretty sweet little knife. Let's go ahead and dive on into the review. <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little close-up on this thing. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go over this blade, and then we'll go back into it later on, go over some of the details on the handle and whatnot. But it's actually got a really nice blade on here to drop point. And what I mean by that is, if you bring your finger at the very top of the knife and run it down the spine of the knife, this is your spine and this is your belly, run it down the spine, you're gonna have a real slow, gradual drop all the way down to the tip. It's not gonna be a very steep drop compared to like a clip point. But usually though, the only downside of that is, on the uh, drop points is, you're not gonna have as sharp as a point. So I can already tell that with this one, I can actually press pretty good with my finger and not get, not get it to where it cuts or whatnot. The belly of the knife, there's a, I wouldn't say it's super big, super small, it's about average right here. So you're gonna have a little bit of cutting room and it is a half serrated, half straight blade. So, you know, it's more for a tactical situation, you know, out for a survival type situation. Got your 440C stainless steel blade. It's half oxidized, it's just regular stainless steel. And then you got your black oxidation right up here on the top and on the bottom. And then you've got your dual thumb studs right up here, which help if for some reason the knife won't open up all the way. It kind of just goes, opens it up, kind of comes half open like that. Use your thumb studs, open it up just like that. But the trigger does not seem to have a problem opening up, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. And finally, I wanna mention this um, grip right here on the top of the blade. Real good thumb grip right there. If you wanna hold it right there, can definitely get a real nice ramp right there. So, first things first, let's go ahead. Let's see if I can't get any hairs with this thing. Yeah, guys, I'm getting a bunch of hairs with this thing. I don't know, I'm gonna flip it over to the quick close up real quick and see if you guys can see that but there are a couple of hairs on the front right here, so this thing is gonna be pretty sharp. Let's go ahead and get a one-handed cut, and then we'll go into it, test the point out, test the catch, and see what we're dealing with. Now, Rabbit, a good cop does what before using his equipment in the field? Uh, they test it? They test it, exactly. All right, so we got some paper right here. Let's go ahead and see what we're dealing with on the cut down. So, let's try this. Having a little difficulty catching. Once you do get it to catch, it actually does a pretty decent job. There are a couple rips. Let's try that one more time. You gotta be real careful because of that serration on the back, but you get it to catch right on the very edge right there. It does a pretty decent job, so-so. A -so. couple rips here and there, but one thing I'm kind of curious about is this point. So let's see, I'm not expecting too much, but yeah, there definitely is quite a bit of catch on here. Very, very, like, uh, I guess you'd say, point is just not sharp at all. I'm putting a lot of force on my finger right there. So you know what? This pretty decent point's not super sharp, but once you do get it to catch, it actually does a pretty decent job. So let's go back and get into the review. All right, this is definitely gonna be more of a tactical knife, being that you're not gonna have a lot of cutting room. As you can just see, that serration's gonna get in the way, and you're gonna have probably looks around two inches of actual cutting room. So definitely not your best EDC. One thing that I wanna mention real quick is this trigger. It definitely is a little bit of give whenever you go to push it down, but once you do get it opened up, it's actually a really fast blade. You can tell they have really good springs in there, but there is a little give on that trigger, so you gotta just press it down just a bit harder, but that's not too big of a deal, it's not that bad. And then one thing I, one thing about it, it's got a really good one open hand and close. So open it up, close up, no problem whatsoever. And then going on down to the handle, it's got a plastic handle, it seems hard plastic. You know, not something super cheap like you'd think on some of the other types of knives that we've done before, but it's a good, reliable plastic. And being that it's plastic, I'm guessing that it's actually gonna be pretty lightweight. So one thing I wanna go check out is the measurements, as well as how this thing's gonna weigh up on the scale. All right, let's go ahead, plop this thing down onto the scale, see what we're dealing with. So, 4.62, yeah, it's actually not 4.59. Right on the borderline of 4.6. It's actually pretty good. It seems to be almost an eight inch knife. Let's go ahead and grab our ruler and see if my predictions are correct. And you are looking at eight inches, including that glass breaker on the dot. So to be 4.9 is actually really good. The length of the blade, all the way to that choil right there. Let's do it like this. You're looking at about three and a quarter and closed up all the way, including that glass breaker. Let's do it this way. You're gonna be looking right at five inches on the dot. So not bad, nice little size pocket knife. Really good weight to it, let's go back into the review. All right, for an eight inch pocket knife, anything under five ounces is actually pretty good. So with this one being 4.6, 
a little below average, which isn't a bad thing. Like I was saying, it's gonna be a little below because of that plastic handle. So what, one thing, let's go ahead and go over some of the details on the handle, the grip and whatnot. It is a plastic handle and you can see all these grooves in here. It has a real good grip to it. And you know what? One thing I like about it is that flashlight does not get in the way whenever you're holding it like this. But in a more defensive standpoint, that flashlight is gonna get in the way. But it's all right, you got the, th or the glass break at the top right here, kind of gets down on your thumb, kind of a little uncomfortable. So it's definitely gonna be better to hold it like this, you're gonna have a lot better action on it. Really, really good grip, really good. As you can see, all these just little things on the top. It's even got it down on the bottom right here, your little finger grooves right there. Gives it real nice and firm right there. And on the back right here, we've got our pocket clip. And I can already tell this thing's gonna be really good in the pocket because of that placement of the pocket clip. It's really far up on there. There's gonna be very little rim sticking out of the knife itself. So you're gonna have real good concealment. The pocket clip itself, uh, seems to be, it seems with these knives that are farther up on the belt, they have less bolts holding them in. So I don't know if you guys can see those two bolts right here and right here. So usually the, the ones that are farther down have more bolts and they're more beefy. But this one, it is a little easier to give it has a little more play. So I'm kind of curious to see how that's gonna hold up in the pocket. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so let's go ahead and slide this down on into the pocket. So it slides in really easy, almost too easily. So there definitely is some catch right there. Slide this back on over here. You know, the printing, there is quite a bit of printing just because it's a little bit of thicker than a knife and especially that flashlight, you can feel it up against your leg. But concealability, got a jacket on like this. You're actually not gonna be able to see it at all. It slides all the way down into the pocket. So it actually does pretty good. These are pretty tight jeans, but there still is a little bit of room in here to put stuff in if you needed to. So that's, oh, it's not, not bad guys. Flashlight turned on, don't have it all the way turned off. But it does slide out relatively easy as well. You know, it's just actually super easy to slide in and out. So we'll go over that in just a second. But when you do pull it out, the trigger is right there and you are good to go. All right, so there are a couple flaws with that pocket design. You know, it is super loose. There is a lot of play, so kind of slides around in there just a bit, especially I bet if you're doing a lot of physical activity. And then that, that flashlight, you know, you can really feel that frost, oh, the flow, blah, 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 flashlight rubbing up against your leg, especially when kind of moving around and wearing a tight pants such as jeans. Speaking of that flashlight, you know, it's actually a pretty cool little element on the knife especially for tactical situations. You know, it just comes up to a 90 degree angle like this, slides up and down, super simple. Give you guys a quick little close up real quick. Do that one more time. So all I gotta do, it's on a little hinge right there. Goes all the way up to 90 degrees. You know what, honestly, I wouldn't really need it to be like that because you know, just do it like this. But one thing people don't realize about knives with flashlights is, is that there's an actual piece of paper in the battery of the knife. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So. We're just gonna unscrew this right up here. Take this piece out, and then we're gonna take this battery out right there. And as you can see, on the top of the battery right there, there's gonna be a little circular piece of paper. Just gonna go ahead, plop that out, and you should be good to go right there, little piece of paper. So all you gotta do is throw that piece of paper in the trash, and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead, slide this back on in to the flashlight. Screw this back on and you are good to go. So let's go ahead, turn these lights off and we'll be right back with you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and kill the last light. And then I got our ruler right here. So what we're gonna do is, you can't see the ruler right now, dark, pitch dark in here. So we're gonna go ahead and switch this light on. So if for some reason you were cutting, you had your blade right here and it was super dark outside, didn't have a flashlight, just turn that sucker on Cutting away, you can see really good. I can read that Westcott since 18672. You can see all the little tiny marks right here. So the flashlight actually does a really good job. But if for some reason you want to turn it up at that 90 degree angle and you just needed to use it as a flashlight, let's one second, let me pull that blade back in. But if for some reason you didn't want to use that blade, just pull your flashlight out. Really, really good motion right here. Super bright LED flashlight. It's almost like it got a white light on there. It does a really good job. So let's go ahead, turn these lights back on and get back into the review. All right guys, that's about it. Let's go over the, my pros and cons on this thing. You know, I wish this thing could be a little bit sharper and have a little more cutting room with that straight blade. You know, the, the serration is nice, but it always, it just isn't always necessary. But you know what, for you guys who need those half serration, half knives in those tactical situations, this is the knife for you. One thing I do like about it is this trigger. You know, there is a little more give than usual, but once you do get that open, it is a super, super fast knife, which I really do like about it. And I like all the different features it has on it. You know, you got your 
you got your flashlight, your seatbelt cutter right here, you got your glass breaker. There's just so much on this knife that it has to offer. And to only be around 10 bucks, this is one of Amazon's, I think, best sellers. You know, it does a really good job, so we went ahead and ordered it. We did a bunch of the other ones in this series. I think we did the firefighter, the police knife, so you wanna go check those out. Well, those are back on the channel ways back, but this thing actually definitely passes product probes inspection. Did a really good job. Everything on it seems to be really good, except for that sharpness. You know, it could be a little bit better, but it's not a deal breaker. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Be sure to check out our Friday Knife Night giveaways. Every single Friday night, we are giving away a knife just like this. Super simple, super easy. Usually we do a live stream around five, six o'clock. So go ahead and check that out. And also, we just got our social media set up. Got an Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter, and we are following back the first 100 followers on our Instagram and Twitter. So go ahead and check us out at Product Probes. Really appreciate it, guys. But other than that, hope you enjoyed the review, and don't forget to like and subscribe.